right there. Where am I looking? <laughs> this is new. Hi guys. So I had a client cancel last minute cause life happens. And I found myself with an off day, which I don't even know her. I don't know. I mean, do you know her? I don't know her, but I'm like, the possibilities are endless. What could I do with this whole day? So I thought that we could go on a thrift adventure. I'm going on an adventure. And you could come see some of my favorite thrift stores and maybe we could find some really super cool stuff. So let's go. So for a whole $5, I now have a car mount. So if you fly off my uh, dashboard here, I'm not gonna be shook. <laughs> so something that you might not know about me is that I love to thrift and I love Facebook Marketplace. As much as I enjoy shopping and I obviously do that for people for a living, I also really, really love thrifting. It's so exciting, you never know what you're gonna find and you know, just the thrill of the hunt and also a bargain. Oh, we've reached our first destination. Wah. Northside Neighborhood House on Miner Street is one of my favorite thrift stores in Chattanooga to shop. They have awesome, awesome name brand clothes and lots of home goods too. So you can pretty much find anything across the board. Not only is Northside Neighborhood House just a super cool place to shop, but they also do some really incredible things for people in need in the Chattanooga community. I'm actually here almost every day bringing donations from my clients. I can't decide if this is creepy or fun. me and uh, a dumpster. So we just finished our first thrift store. I found lots of cute stuff and I watched an old couple get into a fight and I got yelled at for accidentally looking at people's items that they wanted because they put it on the rack where things go where you don't want them. You know, just all the good times. Hungry, I am so hungry. Something else happened at Northside Neighborhood House that um, if you if you ever go thrifting, then this is something that you've probably experienced before. But if not, then it might sound crazy. But sometimes when you are in a thrift store, in will walk some person who has a similar body type and size as you and looks vaguely fashionable. And it's like there's an unspoken standoff of like, may the best woman win because you may not have the same taste, but like there's some gems in there that you're both gonna be looking for. So that happened to me today, which was really funny. Spoiler alert, she doesn't like Lululemon, so hey. Okay, so we are headed to my second favorite thrift store. Technically, if you Google it, it's called The, I think I spit when I said that. If you Google it, it's called The Thrift Store which is thinking pretty highly of yourself, <laughs> but it's the Chambliss Center thrift store. So let's, oh, it looks a little empty. And we open. Oh, wouldn't that be such a bummer? They're closed. Why did they close? So in a very, very sad turn of events, the second thrift store that I very much wanted to take you to closed an hour early for some reason today. Not really sad. You know, life happens. So we are going to try a thrift store that I've never been to. So this is going to be Goodwill. I've never been to this. This could, this is gonna be an adventure for everybody involved. It's so busy today. Is everybody out going to the thrift store? that the deal? This particular Goodwill is new to me, so wish me luck. Well, this is what I never knew I needed. What in the world is happening here? If anybody knows, please tell me. <laughs> what 
what I want to know is who gave up their whole crown collection. Like, what a bummer. Y'all wait for it. I had this bag when I was a kid. <gasps> Kittens! I get it? Okay, so I'm going to give that about a 1 out of 10. Not, like, the giantest fan of this Goodwill, apparently. But I'm sure sometimes you possibly find something good there. Today was just not that day. I got a Starbucks. I got a Starbucks. I got a Starbucks. Hey, 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 hey. The next thrift store that I'm going to take you to is America's Thrift Store. I don't know that they are inherently patriotic, but it is probably the biggest thrift store in Chattanooga. Where am I going? Lord, where is this taking me? This is right. All right. I take it back. I'm sorry, GPS. Let's go shopping. All right. So here we are at our next thrift destination, America's Thrift Store. Let's see. Like, look how giant this place is. So let's see what goodies we can find. America's Thrift Store has got to be the biggest thrift store in Chattanooga if not just ever. It's massive. They have all kinds of stuff from vintage to new, name brands, furniture, books, home goods, you name it, they've got it. This creepy picture is for sure haunted, so if you want to haunt your own house, you can do that for the low, low price of $9.99. More clowns. All the clowns. Also, the poke. And it's dark. So, oh, yay. So I just got out of America's Thrift Store and I completely closed the whole store down. I think we are done for the night, but oh my gosh, do I have some amazing things to show you. So next time you see me, there will be an outfit change. We may or may not go shopping again. So I will see you then in the future. Oh, hey. Fancy meeting you here. It is day two of our thrift shopping adventure and I'm super excited. Let's get started. Whew. It is hot out here today, y'all. This is only a preview of what summer has to offer us here in the great southern city of Chattanooga, Tennessee. Two different southern accents in one rant. Yeah. Okay. So we're about to hit up Cause Cloth, which is in downtown Chattanooga, and see what we can find. Let's go. Chattanooga is so pretty. One cool thing about Chat is that we have a ton of awesome murals. Chattanooga loves their art, and we love to see it. Cause Cloth is super unique because it's half thrift store, half boutique. That rhymed. I didn't mean to do that. I was super surprised at the total variety there at Cos Cloth. So you can get new with tags, formal wear, boutique items, etc. And then also like amazing cool vintage pieces. Once upon a time, this delightful lady at Cause Cloth took the time to explain to me what Partnership for Families, Children, and Adults does in Chattanooga. And because I am a poor YouTuber, I did not realize that there was a very, very copyright strikeable song playing in the background. So please click the link in the description down below to learn all about what they do in our community. Woo. All right, so I definitely went over my 45 minute parking meter limit in there because I forgot how amazing that thrift store is. I can't wait to tell you more about it and show you what I found because mind blown, shook, shaken, not stirred. Anyway, so we are off to our next destination, which is the thrift store that I attempted to take you guys to last time, but it was closed for some unknown reason. There's a man just yelling to himself. It feels weird that I can't play music. Am I allowed to sing music? Am I allowed to hum music? What are the rules? Can I make it my own song? And we're riding in the car, riding in the car. Hey, guess what I got? It's a corn dog. I love corn dogs. Okay, I'm not gonna show me eating this on camera. I mean, are you kidding me? This is the internet. 
people. We're not, we're not doing that today. No, thank you. So remember that time I very desperately wanted to take you guys to this thrift store, you know, the thrift store, um, but they closed randomly early. Yeah. Well, uh, apparently they close at four now and we can't go in again. Okay. So we didn't make it to the other thrift store, the thrift store, but we are going to go to their second location. So take that. Ha ha. Beat the system. The Thrift Store supports Chambla Center for Children, and they have two locations, one on Brainerd Road and one in Red Bank. This location is extremely organized, and they have a great big home section with dishes and furniture and all kinds of cool stuff. They also had a ton of original artwork, which I thought was pretty unique for a thrift store. So we haven't hit all of the thrift stores in Chattanooga. Um, we could totally do that in another video, but I'd have to get up early. But we've hit a ton of them. So I think it's about time to go on home and show you guys what I got. Okay, so let's see what all we found on our thrift adventures. From the first store, which was Northside Neighborhood House on Minor Street, I got this blue Lululemon tank. It appears to be in like really good condition. And I don't know if you're a Lulu fan, then you know that there's so, it's so expensive, like, but it's also really great. So I get it. But also if I can find things like this, you know, for less than retail, I'm gonna snap that up. $20. I know that's high for a thrift store, but also you know, it's Lululemon. Next. Keeping in theme with the workout situation, we have another Lululemon tank. I think the same person was just like, you know, I'm going to cull down my collection and that works for me. So this one has got this like cool mesh detailing around the sleeves and neck. $15, which again, expensive for a thrift store, but also it's Lulu. What can you do? So the next thing I got was something super, super cool. I didn't think I could leave without snatching this up. I'm not entirely sure what we're gonna do with her, but we're gonna figure it out. Bam! So it's this cool t-shirt. So it's this cool t-shirt. It's got these embroidered like 3D wings. And then also these that are attached in the back. I thought this was pretty nifty. Other than the wings, it's just a plain white tee and it's kind of like got a men's fit kind of feel to it, which I'm here for that. And it's by a company called Rag Yard, which I'd never heard of, but it's new with tags. Apparently they find vintage pieces and they kind of zhuzh them up and add cool stuff like these. I love that. I love that. We love vintage. We love refreshing something and making it new and we love giving clothing a second life so this is like taking all the boxes this retailed for 85 i don't know if it's euros 85 somethings and i paid 20. so anyway that's all i got from the minor street north side neighborhood house that was 50 dollars even Let's see what we got from our next. This is a weird, why am I doing this? The next store was America's Thrift Store. That was the big, massive, giant one. And I got a big, massive pile of stuff. So for the first thing I got, AG jeans. They're the high rise Stevie ankle, exactly my size, in great condition. They have this cool raw hem and they were a whole $2.99. Oh yeah. So next up, I needed some new shorts. So I found these. These are like a cute, cute linen little mini short from Joie. You know, you know her. And I paid a whole $5.99 for these. So big fan. For my next item, I got this cool leather tank. It's leather in the front and then just snuggly material in the back. But this is pretty legit. It's from A Crew and it was a whole 
Here's another designer item, a little skirt. It's got this velvet detail right here. I actually have this in black. This is a T by Alexander Wang skirt, which again, retail price pretty, you know. And I paid $3.99. Also, actually, I think it was on sale. Yeah, it was 30% off of $3.99. <laughs> the next thing I found at the store was this super adorable zip front skirt from Free People. This is, I think, missing its zipper pull. And, you know, it's still completely functional without that. So it doesn't bother me. This adorable little skirt is gonna be super cute for summer. And it was a whole $3.99. Last but not least, the most shocktastic item that I found at the thrift store was a really high-end brand. I was impressed. The Missoni new with tags. I'm sorry, what? This isn't actually my size, but I have clients, I have friends, I can pass her along. I just couldn't resist for a grand total of 30% off of $5.99. I could not resist the new with tags Missoni skirt. This fun fuchsia color and it's got this cool knit pattern you can see. The next store that I'm gonna show you items from is the thrift store, Red Bank location. And I got just a couple of things, but they're pretty big winners, I think. First up is this grouchy looking cat pin. I don't know, something about her just spoke to me. I was like, I need this. And this was a whole $2. The next thing I got from the thrift store was this really beautiful bag. I mean, how gorgeous is this? Like it's in great condition. The handles are so cool, the gold. And I just love the whole look of this. I mean, I would probably clutch purse this, but it's an option. If you love vintage pieces like I do, there were some amazing ones at this thrift store. So you should check it out and see if you can snap up some of your own super cool vintage finds. I saved the best for last. These are the items that I found at Cause Cloth, which is in downtown Chattanooga. I was so impressed with this place. Um, I'd been there once before, but I'd just forgotten how awesome it was. and. I really, I feel like I made out like a bandit. I got this adorable hair tie. It's kind of got a vintage looking fabric to it. This was, I believe a dollar, but everything in the store was 20% off. So amazing. The next thing I got from Cause Cloth was this adorable vintage scarf. I mean, I love the colors, they're so vibrant. The yellow and the green, I'm super here for it. But not only that, but it's got this poem on it. I'm gonna read it to you. It says, oh little soldier with the golden helmet, what are you guarding on my lawn? You with your green gun and your yellow beard, why do you stand so stiff? There's only the grass to fight. Hilda Conkling, age seven, which I looked her up. Apparently this poem is called Dandelion. I just think this is the coolest thing. I've never seen anything like it. I've never seen a poem printed on a scarf. And also this is signed Jeannie Karens. And the internet didn't give me a great amount of information about her, but they showed me her obituary. And uh, she was a like a children's book illustrator. And I mean, she just sounded cool. Like if you have a chance to look it up, you should. She, it was just like, she spent time boating and she illustrated children's books and she made a line of high-end scarves. I wanna be just like you when I grow up. But anyway, so the super, super cool scarf was $6.95. And again, with 20% off. All right, so my favorite, favorite thing I found today, y'all, I. I was quaking when I saw this and it wasn't priced yet. I was expecting it to be so much more than it actually was because this is the most beautiful vintage, like 70s dress I think I have ever seen. Like, look how gorgeous this is. 
I love the puffy sleeves and the cool embroidery around the neckline. It's a maxi length and it's actually the perfect length for me. I got to try it on in the store and I, oh, it's also got this really adorable belt so you can tie it in the back to cinch in the waist. And y'all, it was $14.95 with 20% off. I mean, somebody like handmade this there, there might not be another one. Cuckoo bananas. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for coming along on this thrift adventure with me. I had a great time filming this. I think it was so much fun to shop with you and to be able to show you some of the cool things that you're able to find in thrift stores. I'm a big advocate for thrift shopping. It's helpful for the planet. It's helpful for your pocketbook. It's helpful for the people that these thrift stores are benefiting. And so this is kind of one way to do your part and also find awesome stuff. I mean, th there's no lose in this situation. It's just a bunch of win, win, win. And so me and this gorgeous beauty here are gonna go, but hopefully we can do this again sometime soon. If you liked this video, please hit the like. And if you want to see more of me and more of my nonsense, click the subscribe button. I'll be making more videos in the future. And if you wanna let me know what you like, if you wanna see more videos like this, let me know in the comments down below. Right? <laughs> Am I a YouTuber yet? I got my first hate comment. Does that make me a YouTuber now? Am I in the club? Thank you guys so much. Bye.